Here are two things that I want to give you to ensure that you don't fail with your business. And my goal here is to save you time and money. Uh, my name's Morgan, I own a business that helps other businesses be found on Google, aka a search engine optimization agency. We make over 100K, less than 500K, we make somewhere in the middle. And I promise you that you can beat 99% of people by just not being a dumbass. So number one is don't restart the knowledge clock. So say you've spent the last year building a recruitment agency and you're not a millionaire yet because candidly not many people become a millionaire after owning the business for one year. It doesn't mean that recruitment doesn't work and you've got to switch to software. It means that, you know, you've got to keep going. You might you might have to become a level 10 to start seeing exceptional money coming in with regards to that business and you're a level eight already. You don't want to go to another opportunity and start at level zero because it's going to take so long. You've already paid down a certain amount of ignorance debt and you might be watching videos that makes, you know, trading look really, really easy. But I guarantee you there's a whole load of shit that comes with trading. And for example, let's run with the recruitment example. You might be thinking recruitment is bollocks, right? Software looks a lot easier, but I guarantee you there's the same amount of bollocks in software recruitment bollocks <laughs> looks like business development right it's like the wild wild west everybody's cold calling trying to win business there's a million billion trillion you know recruitment agencies in the uk it's very tough to get business right now you're looking at software you're like this is really easy to sell business development will be a piece of piss but there's other bollocks that comes with software businesses aka you need an exceptional product because if the product isn't exceptional you're going to see exceptional churn like a tremendous amount of churn right and it's difficult to build a profitable business if the churn is really high and if you don't know what churn is churn is a percentage of clients that leave per month and if you might be thinking but morgan you can make more money with the software business than the recruitment, but that's just not, unless you want to be top 10 richest people in the world, then take that into consideration. But you could have a billion pound recruitment agency, billion pound marketing agency, billion pound software business, billion pound e-commerce business, billion pound barbershop. No matter what it is, you can make an exceptional amount of money with that. And you might be thinking, but Morgan, you can scale faster with regards to this, but you can't, like, you've already put three years into, say, this opportunity. You don't want to put another three years into another opportunity just to be at the same level that you are with this opportunity because, you know, the, the gains only accrue to you if you're exceptional. And I'll talk about that later in the video. But you might also be thinking, but Morgan, this opportunity looks a lot more fun than this opportunity. But I guarantee you, as soon as you get away from service delivery, it doesn't matter because in the early days, you're going to have to be doing the service delivery, right? You might be building the software or you might be delivering the candidates or you might be doing the actual marketing for your digital marketing agency on behalf of your clients, right? But as soon as you can pay people to do that, it all looks the same. It's all sales, marketing, service delivery and all the other shit that comes with running the business. And you've got to understand that time is the input. There's no way to cheat this. Sure, you can work more hours in a day to slightly you know offset how long it takes you but big things take time right like drake started making songs when he was 16 uh, his first big album was when he was 24 i believe and that's take care uh, mr beast making youtube videos since he was 13 he's 25 now long time cristiano ronaldo he's 39 i think uh, he's been playing football for 30 years at an exceptionally high level it's probably more than 30 years but things take a long time right and say you're working a nine to five right and say you're working in the construction business like you've already paid down an ignorance debt and you're being paid to learn, right? Yeah, that's called a nine to five, by the way. You're being paid to learn. You're probably 12 months away from having a very profitable business. On the other hand, if you think that software is your calling for some reason, it's going to take, you know, five years just to become basic. Whereas you've already put five years into bricklaying or into your construction role. So continue with that. And you're much closer to having the business of your dreams. Like I promise you, like if you're a window cleaning employee right now, you're probably $50,000 away from having a very profitable business. Very profitable is relative i grew up middle class so i'd consider a bringing in six figures profit to be you know a very well a very good income for yourself and how do you do that Fifty thousand dollars. say you book one percent of those dollars leads to a meeting that's what 500 meetings say you close 10 percent of those that's 50 clients paying you a couple hundred pounds per month exceptional business like you're very you're much closer than you think you are and when to give up like when should you change opportunity there's two scenarios right it's when there's no data to, show, to showcase that what you're trying to achieve is possible or there's data to showcase that what you're trying to achieve is no longer possible. So with number one, if you're trying to make money and you spent the last two years building a rocket ship to Pluto, chances are, I'd say, you know, give up. There's no data to showcase that you can make exceptional money doing that. On the other hand, a more realistic example, if you're a TikTok creator and you're selling to a TikTok audience, say in UK, but then TikTok is banned in the UK, there's data to suggest that what you're continuing to do will not be profitable. So then I'd say pivot. But as I say, you're much closer than you think and you could be working a lot of hours right now for your digital marketing agency you're like i can't keep doing this you know 
But the truth is, 20 clients paying you a couple hundred pounds per month, you'll be able to build a team, and you just got to beg, borrow, and steal to get to that 20 clients mark, and then you can breathe, and you can start improving, you know, the level of service that you provide. And my second piece of advice is not to do more than one thing. Like you might be putting seven hours into one opportunity and seven hours into another opportunity, but you're not going to be able to compete with the guys putting 14 hours into one single opportunity. And you might be thinking, I'll get 50% of what he gets, but it doesn't work like that. All the gains accrue in an exponential manner, not in a linear manner. Like say if he's making a million pounds per year, you're not going to make 500k by putting half the input in. Because say you run a 10 second 100 meters, right? You might get a well done, but the closer you are to number one, the more the gains are accrued to you. Like Usain Bolt, he gets rewarded, right? He gets all the sponsorships. He's famous. He's making all the money. The other, you know, 1,000, 100-meter sprinters, not much. So, you know, go all in. It works in an exponential manner, not in a linear manner. So pick one thing, go all in. And this is much more niche than you think. Uh, say, for example, you are a personal trainer and you put out a bit of content whilst working on side hustle, whilst having another business. Like nothing's going to happen as a result of that because you're too spread thin. Meanwhile, there's one guy who's just posting, who's put 10 hours a day into just one Instagram reel and he's getting the results of that because that Instagram reel is exceptional and a lot of people are viewing it and he's getting a lot of business off that. So it's incredibly niche, right? And the same goes with your personal life. You just want to be focusing on one thing like put constraints on yourself for example you don't see say if you want to be a youtube creator you're not going to be able to be a youtube creator and win mr olympia simultaneously so just go all in on one thing like mr beast he's just putting 16 hours a day into his youtube videos um you don't see him trying to build like an outstanding physique not at all you're, you can only make progress in one area of your life and ask yourself if you are doing a million things like how easy would it be to build a business if i said no to everything that i was doing for today and you know the, from the minute i woke up to the minute i went to sleep all i did is work like, it'd be pretty easy right see what i do and it's not the most stressful of lives right having a business is stressful but it's not the most stressful if all you're doing is focusing on this one thing and like one thing can get you all the money you can imagine like mr beast billionaire and he just makes youtube videos uh, there's a variety of recruitment agency owners billionaires software uh, business owners billionaires so you can make all the money you want by just doing one thing. So go all in and start, And as I was saying, stack the odds in your favor. So if you spend the last three years, I don't know, window cleaning, then continue window cleaning, build a business, business around that because you can build a business that's exceptionally big uh, just off the back of that. So stack the odds in your favor, do what you've already been doing. And as I say, choose one thing, put all your input into that in terms of time, attention and energy, and you'll probably get outsized returns. But anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.